Hello and welcome back to Build and Teach. In this tutorial, we're going to go over lists in Python. Now, lists is a type of collection object. Uh, a collection object stores uh, lists of data, so uh, groups of data that you want to use in your program. Now, there's four different types of collection types, and they all have different features in Python. Now, we have lists. We have sets, we have tuples, and we have dictionaries. Uh, now, the list is a collection of objects, and it contains the following features. So each one of these has different features. So the list, the features of a list is one, that it is ordered, meaning that it is indexed, as you can see here. Two, it is changeable, meaning you can change both the size of the list and the items within the list. And three is that it allows duplicate members. Meaning, if you want to have uh, a certain item more than one time in the list, a list will allow that. Now, the way to create a list is we use the square brackets, uh, and then we list the items that we want to store in the list within square brackets. So here I have variable equals, square bracket, the items you want to store, and then close the square bracket. Now, the way a list stores data is it stores data similar to the way that strings store characters. It stores them with indexes. So the first item in the list will be index 0, the second item index 1, and the third item index 2. Uh, so let's, let's create a list so we can start uh, playing, uh, playing around with lists. So as, as, as I said before, the syntax is you have to use square brackets. So here I have a shopping list equals square bracket uh, and then I have a list of items. I have milk, bread, apples, eggs, and rice. And let's print, if we print out this list, you'll see that it stores the items in the same order in which you created them. Right? You see one, two, three, four, five. There are five items here in the same specific order. If we wanted to get the length of the list, we want to see what size this list is, you can see here that this list is five items. Right? Remember that the index is started zero. Right? So it has five items. Uh, in the last chapter, we, we went over looping. So the same way you can loop over the characters in the string, you can also loop over items in the string. So using a for loop, 4x in shopping lists, print x. You can see here that it's looping through all of the items in that list. So let's, let's take a look at the indexes here. So here's another way to loop, uh, uh, to loop an index. Uh, I'm sorry, to loop a list. And in this for loop, it's a little different than the for loop up here in, in that it has now two variables inside and it has this enumerate on it. What this basically does is it has the ability to print out the index and the item. So the index would be this num and then the item would be this other one here. As you can see here, milk is at index zero, bread is at index one, apples two, eggs three, and rice four, as I stated before. Very similar to the way that strings uh, store characters. If we wanted to access items within the list, it would be very similar to the way we handled strings. We used a square bracket and then we specify the index we're trying to get. So if we want an index, if we wanted the first item in this list, we would look for index zero. So here, shopping list, square brackets, index zero, would give me the first item. Uh, if we wanted the last item in the list, we would do shopping list, let me take the print statement out, shopping list, square brackets, negative one. Negative one would give you the last item on the list. You can also specify four. If you know the, if you know the size of your list, you know, this is a, a list of five items, so five minus one would be four. If we did that, it would also give me uh, the last item, but we would have to know the size. If we don't know the size, remember, you can always use negative one, and it will give you the last item. Lists also support uh, slice notation. Remember, in the, in the strings tutorial, we covered slice notation. Slice notation is, is very similar. Uh, it uses the square brackets, but the only difference is it uses two inputs in between a colon. The first input would be the starting position, and the last input would be the 
ending position uh, or, or the I, uh, one plus the ending position. So in this particular case right here, I am looking to start at index two, which is apples, and I want to end before index four. So it would only return to me index two and three. You see here, start at two, end before four. So meaning two and three, as you can see with the index, okay, uh, with the uh, slice notation. Okay, next we're gonna cover uh, checking if an item exists in a list using the in keyword. So here we've created the list, uh, the shopping list, milk, bread, apples, eggs, and rice. And we wanna check if milk is in shopping list. And it's real simple. You just say if the item you're looking for, milk, in your list, then execute that code. As you can see here, since milk is in, and the condition is true, it'll execute the code below. Sometimes you need to sort a list. So if you want to sort a list, use the sort method. Uh, real simple, uh, same shopping list. And then you do shopping list dot sort, and then you print it and you can see that now it's alphabetically sorted. Um, real simple. If you want to reverse sort a list, use the reverse method. Uh, here it is. So I've created a shopping list, shopping list dot reverse. And if I print this out, it's in reverse alphabetic order, right? So in, in, in reverse alphabetic order, uh, right? Um, sometimes you want to add an item to a list. To add an item to a list, uh, use the append method. The append method will add the item to the end of the list. So here I've created the same list. I'm appending one more thing, cookies. And here when I print it out, uh, here using the append method, when I print it out, you can see cookies is now added to the list. Sometimes you want to add an item to a specific uh, index in the list. So here I've created another list. So here I've created a list of chicken, steak, and fish. And I want to insert detergent at index one. So it'll, it'll, it'll move chicken over and it'll insert detergent between steak and chicken at index one. So the insert uh, allow insert method allows you to insert an item at a specific index. Sometimes you want to add more than one item. So the way to do that is you uh, append uh, uh, one list to another list using the extend method. So here I've created uh, my protein list, uh, chicken, steak, and fish, and I want to add that to the shopping list, uh, which I should probably let me let me copy this one here, and I'm gonna put that there so now shopping list has milk breads uh, apples eggs and rice and I want to add the protein to it so shopping list so the first list dot extends then the second list so you can see here that I've added the uh, uh, steak chicken and fish to the end of my other list so it's one list adding another list so the way to do it is you specify the first list dot extend and then the parameter would be the second list. Sometimes you need to remove an item from the list. So to remove an item from the list, use the pop method. And the pop takes uh, uh, as a parameter the index. So in here, I'm removing the first item from the list, which is milk. And you can see here, when I return the list, it no longer has milk in it because I've popped that item out using zero, uh, the zero index. Uh, sometimes you want to remove an item from a list using the delete uh, keyword. So that's another way to do it. So I would the way you do that, uh, here I've created a list. I use the DL del, as in delete, shopping list at index zero. Similar to pop, the only difference is it, it, you, it's, a, it's a different way of doing it. Instead of pop, you use delete. But you still need to specify the index. Uh, Sometimes uh, you may not know where the uh, item is, so you want to remove it by value. And to remove an item by value, use the remove method. So here I have my shopping list, and I want to remove bread from the shopping list. So I would just say shopping list dot remove bread, and it will remove the bread item from it without me having to know the index. Uh, to remove all the items from a list and have an empty list, use the clear method. You can see here, as soon as you use clear, 
it returns to be an empty list. So try all these out. Uh, try the remove, uh, try the clear, try the delete, try uh, the pop to remove a single item, uh, add two uh, lists together using the extends, insert an item uh, at an index using the insert, append an item to the end of the list using the append method, uh, reverse uh, sort, sort, etc. Try all of these out uh, uh, and, and, and get some practice. And as usual, there are text instructions at the end of this video. Thank you.